Hey everyone, it is Gabe again from Frame. I'm here for part three of the tutorial series. In the, excuse me, in the last video, we looked at bringing images into your frame and snapping them to the surface of a wall with the snap to surface setting. And then we even locked it with the lock position so that even when I'm in edit mode and I click and drag it, it will stay there. Okay, fair enough. So I made a frame. I can send someone the link to it. They can come right in here and they will see my image right on the wall. But I need to start setting this up so that people can actually do stuff inside of this frame. And I'm making kind of an office for my team. So a common thing that we do is screen share. So what I want to do is actually set up this space as sort of a, you know, kind of a larger meeting room. The frame team's got uh, 10 people on it and growing. So this is a better space for that. And I'm going to bring an asset into the frame called a streaming screen, because this is the asset that you can use to share your screen or share your webcam. I just shared my screen. You can see my recording software that I'm using to record this video, or you can see my webcam. My webcam is being used by the other software, so you can't actually see my webcam but usually that will just pull your webcam right up. Now, just like any other asset, I kinda don't want it just floating here in space. I really want it on this wall. Now, coming up, we actually have a really easy way to do this. We're gonna, you're gonna see a button on this wall that you can push to just click a streaming screen. It'll show up right there. But for now, uh, let's practice the skills we learned in the last video. I'm gonna turn on edit mode with the little pencil button so it turns blue. I'm gonna click on the asset, and then you'll see the edit menu here. I'm gonna click on snap to surface and snap it right to the wall. Now I'm going to turn off snap to surface so I don't accidentally click it. And then I'm going to drag and scale. Uh, I'm going to drag these corners and just scale it up nice and big so that it's really big. And I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I'm going to dra grab just this upward arrow to move it up. Looks perfect. And then I'm going to lock it. So there we have it. Now we have a streaming screen. When you share your screen, you can also share your screen with audio. So if you want to watch YouTube videos together, you want to, uh, you know, just share the audio that your uh, system is playing, you can do that too, which is pretty cool. Okay, so um, we set up one streaming screen, and I'm going to set up one more over here on this wall. Edit mode on, snap to surface, boom, streaming screen. Okay, and as many you can bring as many of these into the space as you want. Just keep in mind that the more you have, the more bandwidth your participants will need. If you have 20 people sharing their screen on streaming screens, uh, people will need to have a pretty good internet connection. All right, sounds great. Now I want to show you one other asset in this tutorial, and that is a web screenshot. So this is a cool uh, asset. It lets you take a screenshot of a website. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll take a screenshot of the learn.framevr.io website. This is a common website that we check out in our meetings. So it takes a little bit to load, uh, just a few seconds though really. And just to get it prepped, I'm gonna get it ready here. It just lets people kind of see a website. It's not fully interactive, but we are working on this. Um, but someone can scroll it and if they wanna really dig into it, they can click on it and either zoom into it or click on it and click on a link and it'll open it up in another tab. But it can be handy. You can set this so that it automatically refreshes. So if it's a website with like the weather or like a stock ticker, you can have it automatically refresh so that once a minute, uh, it'll get a new version. It'll refresh the screenshot to get the latest information onto it. Okay, so there you have it. We're actually starting to make our office good for productivity. Not only is it starting to look really nice, but it's starting to have some really powerful features inside of it too. All right, I'm going to move it away from the wall just a tiny bit. There we go. All right, in the next video, we're going to dive into uh, many other fun topics, but there you go. I encourage you to bring in some streaming screens and some web screenshots into your own frame that hopefully you're building alongside this series. All right, good luck.